Memory retrieval means bringing information into consciousness that was previously experienced. Retrieval success is enhanced by the cues, context, and conditions that were present at the time the memory was acquired. Context-dependent learning, which is also called the encoding specificity principle, describes the phenomena where memories are more easily retrieved in a setting that matches the original setting in which learning took place. In fact, anything present at the time learning occurred can serve as contextual cues for retrieval, including smells, sounds, sights, and the emotional state of the learner. Research suggests that this context-dependent effect occurs not just for explicit memory, but for implicit memory as well. Explicit memories are also easier to recall when the learning occurred without interference. This can be demonstrated with the serial position effect, also called the primacy recency effect, in which there is a tendency to remember more information from the beginning and end of an event than from the middle. This occurs because of two types of interference that interfere with encoding and therefore retrieval. In proactive interference, there is a tendency of earlier learning to impair memory for information acquired later. So as people attempt to remember the first words on a list, often by rehearsal, this interferes with them learning the items that are later on the list. In retroactive interference, there is a tendency of later learning to impair memory of information learned earlier. In other words, it's easier to recall words at the end of a given list because you heard them more recently. For example, suppose a person was asked to memorize these words, hat, chair, vase, frame, bowl, window, candy, stair, and cup. Words in the beginning of the list are better remembered because they have less proactive interference, fewer words precede them. And words at the end of the list are better remembered because they have less retroactive interference, fewer words follow them. The words in the middle are poorly remembered because they suffer from both proactive and retroactive interference. Researchers use four techniques to study memory retrieval. Free recall, cued recall, recognition, and relearning. In free recall, people study materials and are then asked to report everything that they can remember about it, kind of like on an essay or a short answer question. In cued recall, information is provided at test time that is associated with the learned material, kind of like a fill in the blank test question where the sentence contains a retrieval cue, a stimulus that brings previously learned information into consciousness. In recognition testing, people are presented with previously studied material mixed with unstudied material. This is just like a multiple choice exam question, where you have to recognize the correct answer from among the choices provided. In relearning, retention is measured in terms of how much faster one relearns material that was previously learned, but then forgotten. People tend to learn the material faster and with fewer errors the second time around. Now let's say you are taking a free or cued recall task and you know that you know the answer, it just isn't coming to you. This is referred to as the tip of the tongue phenomenon. It's the inability to retrieve a word despite feeling confident that retrieval is imminent. This effect may be due to competition from weakly activated but related information in memory. Taking a deep breath, closing your eyes, and trying to restrict auditory inputs can help to boost retrieval.